Hello there, welcome to my channel, The Travel Man. This is your host, Asim Bhardwaj, with a new podcast. And this time, we have some more news coming from Thailand. So let's talk about all of them in this uh, podcast series episode. Before I begin, I request you to like this podcast episode and subscribe to my channel for Hindi videos and English podcast series. So we start with the first news of this episode. A new airline launched in Thailand named Really Cool. Yes, you heard it right. Really Cool is the name of the airlines. So the Bangkok-based airline will be marketed as full-service lifestyle carrier and will initially operate with two leased Airbus A330 twin Azel aircraft, which are expected to join the small fleet next year. Really cool airlines will focus mainly on international routes to avoid competition from established domestic carriers targeting international passengers who make up 70% of air travelers in Thailand. Possible routes will serve Australia, China, France, Japan and the United Kingdom. Routes will be announced in two months, followed by the first flight in December, in time for peak air travel season. Okay, song occurred. So, during Friday last week, the fourth day of the seven days of danger for the annual Song Karan Festival, 44 people were killed and another 368 injured in traffic accidents across Thailand. This brings the number of Song Karan deaths this year to 158. Despite the increase in casualties, the number of deaths in the first four days of the holiday has dropped by 14 compared to the same period last year. According to the Ministry of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation's Traffic Safety Centre, 1433 people were injured in 1422 traffic accidents from or between April 11 to 14th. That compares with 1188 injuries in 1207 accidents during the same period last year when there was less driving because some COVID-19 restrictions were still in effect. Speeding was the most common cause of accidents, accounting to 35% while drunk driving was second, accounting to 28.5, motorcycles were involved in 83% of all accidents. Next news regarding Songkran, eight injured in shooting at RCA Songkran party in Bangkok. Police arrested a gunman in the early hours of last week Friday morning in connection with a shooting at a Songkran party outside the Onyx Bar in Bangkok's popular Royal City Avenue Entertainment District. Four victims were injured by gunfire and four others were wounded as they tried to flee the scene. Guys, uh, we request you to be safe and travel responsibly. Next news. According to a report by the National News Bureau of Thailand, local officials have inspected the vessel, which has been converted into a beach club. Earlier this year, provincial governor halted plans for a floating beach club off Phuket. At that time, local authorities claimed that the ship would harm the environment and cause too much noise. They also stated that the ship only had a permit to operate as a passenger ship and did not have the appropriate license to operate catering establishments. Vessel registration, structural integrity, safety features, waste disposal system, potential water pollution risk, and the position of dropped anchor were checked. The latter checks uh, were designed to ensure that the anchor line did not damage coral reefs or interfere with vessel traffic. The Provincial Excise Office is expected to control the sale of alcohol and tobacco in the proposed club, while the Phuket Labour Protection and Welfare Office will monitor the issue of employment on board. Next news. Authorities on Phuket have promised yet again to crack down on motorcycle rental companies that rent out motorcycles to tourists without a valid driver's license. On Wednesday, Provincial Governor chaired a meeting that was also attended by the head of the Phuket Office of the Ministry of Disaster Management and Mitigation. Also present were the heads of other relevant government agencies. The meeting was called because more and more tourists are involved in traffic accidents that kill or injure them on the island. Officials discussed the problem of motorcycle rental companies renting motorcycles to tourists who do not have a motorcycle license either in Thailand or in their home country. Now, what happens when you drive without the license or international driving permit? If you rent a motorcycle in Thailand as a foreigner without a motorcycle license and international driving permit or without a Thai motorcycle license, you will be fined at the police checkpoints on the island. If you have an accident, your insurance company won't pay you for the stay or medical care at a local hospital. All right, next news. Thailand considers legalizing sex work with new bill. However, there are some counter arguments too. Under the current paradigm, it's not illegal in Thailand to be paid for sex, but it's uh, illegal to offer and advertise paid sex. 
Operating a business selling sex is also illegal. So much of the country's sex industry isn't covered by law. The new law, uh, which will replace the 1996 law, requires club bars and saloons where sex is sold to apply for a special license to make sex work safer. Some people who attended the public hearings complained that legalizing sex work would run counter to Thai culture. Whether the bill becomes law depends on the new government and parliament. The major parties in the race have said little or nothing actually about this. Next news. Three Chinese and one Burmese were arrested by Pattaya police last week, April 15th, on suspicion of entering Thailand illegally and overstaying. The four people were arrested at a house in um, a sub-district of Bang, Lamung district in Shonburi. Police officers and the immigration department conducted a raid after an investigation revealed that the occupants of the house had sneaked into Thailand without valid documents. The four people were then taken to a police station where they were charged. After examining the evidence, police officers determined that the Burmese worker had entered Thailand illegally through a natural channel in Trat province. The Bamezi worker herself later admitted that she was employed by a local as a maid in the house and received a salary of 7,500 Thai baht per month. So she worked there for about three months. Next news, Thailand's similar islands were packed with tourists during the Songkran holiday but uh, will soon be much quieter because it is going to be closed on May 19th for a period of environmental restoration. The marine park will be closed to tourists during the monsoon season and will reopen on October 15th of 2023 after nature has recovered from the hectic peak season. Alright friends, that's it from Thailand. I hope you have enjoyed this podcast and if so, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more quality content in Hindi as well as uh, English podcast series. I see you once again. Goodbye and take very, very good care of yourself.